Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is volume 17 of the daily forex update. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, do well to click on the subscribe button and smash the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. Yeah, so we are in the second week of the month of August 2023 and this is Monday, the 7th of August 2023. So just as we do on, on this channel, I bring you the daily updates every day within the week all right i've already brought to you the weekly market outlook so i'll put the link at the top right hand corner of your screen click on it and make sure you get your overview of whatever i'm expecting to see on the market so far as this week is concerned all right when you're watching the or so far as the weekly market update is concerned i might give you a bias of which the daily updates we might see changes or uh, changes all right that's very normal that's why we say that if you watch my weekly market outlook and you and you don't watch the daily updates you are you are really doing yourself all right you are not really helping yourself because the daily updates looks at what i'm expecting within the week all right we revisit it and then look at what price action is doing if still i'm expecting that same price action to play out or there's there are changes because sometimes it happens a lot sometimes i will, I will expect you to see the market let's say move to the upside but within the day let's say monday street tuesday street or wednesday street will change things for me all right so i might see let's say for instance i might see i'm expecting to see the market move to the downside on jpg gbp usd so far the weekly ma market update is concerned but Right after Monday's price action, things change. So I'll, I'll update you in the Monday's what forex update. So if you don't watch the, the daily forex update, you're doing yourself. You're not really helping yourself. All right, you, you you can't just watch the weekly forex update and then decide not to watch the daily update and then you think that is that, that is fine. No, that is not fine. All right, that is the very reason why I decided to bring you the daily forex update so that we look at whatever i was expecting during the week as to whether it is following suit or not if it's not following suit i make you aware that this is what is happening so my bias on a particular market is going to change all right so make sure as you watch the weekly update you watch the daily update too as well all right yeah so let's go into the economic calendar to see what tomorrow being tuesday the 8th of august 2023 has for us so on tuesday the 8th of august 2023 we have the westpac consumer confidence change for australia so far the month of august is concerned we also have the westpac consumer confidence index for australia and then we have the business confidence for the month of july for australia then we have the cpi for euro all right cpi for euro then we have balance of trade for usd all right so that is actually the high impact news of ours tomorrow is concerned. So these are what we are expecting or we expect to see it on the market. These are the high impact news that we're expecting to see on the market. So ours tomorrow being Tuesday, the 8th of August 2023 is concerned. Yeah. So as it is said and done, let's look at what is happening on the dollar index. Yeah. So for the dollar index, price is still within last last week Friday's range all right so at this point unless i see price out of friday's range all right so you realize that you realize that we had a very small range for monday right we had a very small range for monday so just as you can see look at this range and look at this range all right today's range or monday's range embedded in what friday's range which is not really a good sign for me to even look at the usd path all right yeah so i want to see price out of the range all right either it takes the high first or it takes the low first that is going to depend on how things will go so based on that then i'll take a decision on that so definitely by tomorrow we are going to get a feedback on that all right and don't forget we are in the cpi week all right Thursday, we have a CPI for USD, and that is the major news that we are expecting to see on the market. So don't be surprised if we 
you see a slow market in the USD pairs from now to Thursday London session. All right, because that is the major news within the week. We, we don't have a lot of high impact news this week, so that is the major high impact news that most traders are expecting, or the big banks or the the, the big players are expecting in the market. All right, so as a rational investor or as a rational trader, you 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 are also anticipating for that big move. So you just wait for that move to happen before you hop into the market. All right, so as it stands now, I'll be silent on USD pairs from now to to Wednesday New York session. Sorry, Wednesday, yes, Wednesday, sorry, Thursday London session. All right, yes, from now to Thursday London session. The New York session, look at how the CPI is going to go within the first hours of the New York open. Then the subsequent hours, we look into to jump into the market based on what price is doing all right yeah so that is just that for the dollar index let's look at what is happening on gbp usd yeah so for gbp usd to same thing all right for gbp usd same thing monday's range finds itself in what friday's range so that means friday's high and friday's low is kept intact and whenever this happens i mean i don't I don't even touch the market at all because I need to, to to I need to see price take out either Friday's high or Friday's low. That is going to give me a clue as to where market wants to move to. Other than that, I'll just hold my hands and look at what price is doing. Okay, until I see price take out either Friday's high or Friday's low, I'm not touching the market. That is what you should be doing as an IDT trader, right? Look at the various the the swing points. All right, look at the swing points. That is that will help you to determine how things will go. Yeah. So, GPUSD, I'm going to be silent on it. All right. Yeah. So, that is just that. Let's look at what is happening on USD card. Uh, for for USD card, price has taken out Friday's high. Friday's high has been what has been taken out. All right. And right after price taken out Friday's high, it just came back into the range again to take out what Sunday's low. And right after price taking out Sunday's low, it tapped into what? In my weekly market outlook, I made you aware of this zone here, right? That this is a what? This is a breakup block right here. All right, the last down close candle, proud to price what? Coming down to take out what? Those are side liquidity that is taste low. And right after that, you saw price what? Even as a quick move to the upside all right a quick move to the upside you saw price meandering around and then went up to take out what friday's high which happened today monday and we've seen price tap into it all right rather right price tapping into it there has been a what a swing low formation right here all right there has been a swing low formation right here so i will expect to see price continue to push to the upside all right, I don't want to see price come take out this loop or even this loop. I want to see price continue to work to push to the upside to take out Monday's high. So USD card, I'll be looking for a bullish price. All right, but this, this is going to be just even if I hop into the street, it's going to be short term. All right, this this is a clear setup that I'm seeing. All right, I posted something on my telegram channel today that you should portray a lady treat <laughs> all right a lady treat treating quote you should portray a lady treat in the month of august all right and i went further to say that or i went further to explain that you should be very picky with your setups so far the amount of August is concerned. So that is literally what I mean by portray portraying or you should be able you, you, you have to what portray a lady trait. Alright, you know ladies most ladies are very picky when it comes to I mean guys, you get it, yes. <laughs> so by showing a lady treat on the market, that means you're what? Yeah, you you'll be very picky when it comes to your setups. 
Right? He's very picky when it comes to your setup. So just take note of that, all right? I guess price action is not really smooth. I guess price action is not smooth. So just as I said, you should be very, very picky with your setups. And if you look at this, I think this is clear, all right? This is clear. Provided price does not come anywhere close to this, we'll see price continue to work to push to the upside. So I look forward to see if we get the opportunity tomorrow for a, a nice setup, all right? A nice buy setup. Yeah, so kindly take note of that. So that is just that for USD card. Let's look at what is happening on GBPJPY. Yeah, so for GBPJPY, we had price, but price filled to what to take out Friday's Friday's low. All right, price filled to take out Friday's low, but Euro JPY a bit so that confirms and what an SMT divergence. This is Euro JPY. So Euro JPY it took out Friday's low. All right, it took out Friday's low, and that confirms a what that confirms an SMT divergence. Let's switch back to GBP JPY for me to show you something. I mean, the price action on Euro JPY and GBP JPY is literally the same. All right, I just want to show you what is happening on GBJPY because that is that is so clear at the moment. All right, that is very clear at the moment. So let me let's switch back to GBJPY for me to show you what is happening in there. Yeah, so for GBJPY SMT divergence with what Euro JPY, you've had price but taking out Friday's high. Sorry, Thursday's high, Friday's high, and then Thursday Thursday's high. I hope you are seeing what I'm seeing here. A fair value gap. This is a what? This is a fair value gap we are seeing here. All right. This is a fair value gap we are seeing here. And below this fair value gap, we also have a breakup block. All right. I'll take this bullish candle and this bullish candle one two as my breakup block. All right. Yes. So we have this as our breakup block. Right, because the last now close candle proud to price what taking out the slow and then moving to the word to the upside. Right, the last down close candle proud to price taking out Friday slow, then you move to the to the upside. So it's either going in tomorrow, price will come and then tap into the zone, or tap into the fair value gap we are seeing here, then we see a push to the upside or price will, will come further into this breaker block then we see a push to the upside all right any of these two will go all right if price starts into this paper look up here i'll take an entry all right i'll take an entry if price comes further into this breaker block right here i'll take another entry all right yeah so just take note of that so this is what i'm expecting to see to on GBP JPY so far as going into tomorrow is concerned. Yeah, so that is just that for the daily forex update. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, do also click on the subscribe button and smash the notification bell so that whenever I post a new video, you will get notified as soon as possible. If you're not part of my Telegram community, just check the description box below. The link is there. Click on it and be part of the Clego Young Leaders Telegram community. I'll come your way again another time. Peace.